Hello, hello, Ederson Oliveira here for the Solo Coder. Today I'll be talking about bleeding edge. What do I mean by bleeding edge? Well, I'm talking about bleeding edge technologies, bleeding edge opportunities. Again, one of my main mantras is becoming the expert in a space. You have heard me talking about this lots of time, but then again, it might you may find it hard to 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 understand and come up with. Okay, so what am I going to become an expert on? What am I become what am I want to become the hero of? So, I'm going to give you uh some options here today. Maybe you want to go to the bleeding edge of whatever space you are playing on. I'll give I'll give you a, a few examples here. Just a few months ago, I've started to play around with IoT, you know, having devices that connect to the web and you you control them over the web. So I, I, I'm not saying that this is bleeding edge. It was at some point, maybe it still is, if you ask different people, different people have different opinions. But but align what I'm when I'm talking about bleeding edge is the bleeding edge opportunities that new technologies and frameworks and opportunities will bring to you as a potential as you potentially specialize on that and create content and become a thought leader on that space over time. And again, bleeding edge, there are risks and rewards with bleeding edge. You might be jumping to an opportunity that later on, you know, may, it may not catch up. It may die within a year or two and you, 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 you may take that risk or not. I mean, it's really up to you. But I'm going to give an example here. So again, I mentioned about IoT. I'm um, The other day I was talking to a good friend of mine and he saw this opportunity uh, by by uh, coding chatbots. Uh, chatbots, uh, I mean, those robots that will interact with you on, on, on chats like Skype, like Slack, like any other Facebook message. Um, as well. So again, that's a space that he, he's considering playing on that space, you know, very bleeding edge. We saw some, uh, some articles talking a lot about that. It's, it's, it's in a nascent state right now. So again, very good opportunity to jump in early on and establish yourself there. When a technology or, or, or something becomes mainstream, it gets hard for you to make a dent in that space. Now, again, if you go to the bleeding edge, it's just getting started. So again, you, you're going to have the opportunity to be on this space from the very beginning. Now, again, there are the risks as well, risks as, well, as I said. Uh, another friend of mine, he decided to specialize on, on PARS. Pars is a, a developed platform for mobile applications, Pars.com. And then Facebook bought that, uh, that uh, platform and they decided to shut down. So again, all the investment that, they, that he had done there in knowledge, in expertise, you know, uh, went to, to nowhere because again, the platform got shut down. So again, platforms are a good place as well, but you risk having those things being shut down. Now, again, there's opportunity there as well. I mean, I told him, say, I, I said, you know, you, you know how to, to do, you know, the sparse thing. So now you should focus on some content of people moving away from parse to something else. So do some content about that. And anyway, if you, if, you, if you work on the CMS space, maybe you want to have a look at what other CMSs are starting to pop out. Some years ago, I was considering going to Orchard Project. Again, I have never gone that there, but I was considering maybe new UI and UX frameworks if you are a front-end developer, you know, like Google Material, who knows? But but again, try to approach the bleeding edge space as well. Now, how do you get tuned to those opportunities? Reading thought leaders on your space. Go to Twitter, follow some thought leaders on your space and see what they are talking about. Usually those people are, are the ones bringing new stuff to this space, read specialized publications in your space. That's another way to, to see what's trending. Talk to your tech buddies, participate in forums, read, read, read and get tuned. That's it. Bleeding edge, an opportunity for you to become an expert. What do you think? Is that an option for you? What is the bleeding edge technology that you are seeing uh, popping out right now as we speak? Big shout out to the Slack group. That's it for now. Bye.